Welcome to Middleton Community United Church of Christ, where we say that no matter who you are or where you are on your journey, you are welcome here. I'm the Reverend Zaina Tomley. My pronouns are she, hers, and I am just so glad that you have chosen to join us this morning uh, in worship for a very exciting morning of making room in our community uh, for more, for more people and love uh, and uh, ministry here in our neighborhood. We will uh, be welcoming new members in worship today. We will also be welcoming the Reverend Rachel Kirk, who is our new associate pastor for community and faith formation, uh, a new leader here among us at MCC. And I'm just really grateful to be here and to celebrate with you. If you're joining us from home today, I'm extra grateful that you are here and that you have made time for worship this morning and you can uh, sign in as well through our digital friendship pad. Uh, there's also a link on the YouTube page to let us know that you're worshiping with us today. We continue today through our series of Be Curious, uh, finding our way through this world with curiosity of approaching our divided world with curiosity, and today specifically with the practice of wonder. So as we worship, I invite you to reflect on our centering question. One of the beautiful things about being human is our capacity to be amazed. I wonder what has given you a sense of wonder lately? A beautiful breeze, a view from a mountaintop, watching a human achievement? Call that wonder to mind and ask, what does it teach us about God? Uh, this is Psalm 19. God's glory is on tour in the skies. God's craft on exhibit across the horizon. Madam Day holds classes every morning. Professor Knight lectures each evening. Their words aren't heard, but their voices aren't recorded, but their science fills the, their silence fills the earth. Unspoken truth is spoken everywhere. God makes a huge dome for the sun, a super dome. For the record, that's what it says. <laughs> uh, the morning sun is a new husband leaping from his, his honeymoon bed. The day breaking sun, an athlete racing to the tape. That's how God's world vaults across the skies, from surf sunrise to sunset, melting ice, scorching deserts, warming hearts to faith. The revelation of God is whole and pulls our lives together. The signposts of God are clear and, the, and point out the right, on the right road. That was kind of goofy with the wording. Uh, the life maps, the life maps of God are right, showing the way of joy. The directions of God are plain and easy on the eyes. God's reputation is 24 karat gold with a lifetime guarantee. The decisions of God are accurate down to the nth degree. For the record, I didn't know what that was at first, but it's like a really, really high number, pretty much. Uh, God's word is better than diamond, better than diamond set between emeralds. You'll like it better than strawberries in the spring, better than red ripe strawberries. Uh, there's more. God's word warns us of danger and directs us to hidden treasure. Otherwise, how will we find our way? Or no, when we play the fool. Clean the slate, God, so we can start the day fresh. Keep me from my stupid sins, from thinking I can take over your work. Then I could start the day sun washed, scrubbed clean of grime and sin. These are words in my mouth. These are what I chew on and pray. Accept them, and I place them on the morning altar. O oh God, my altar rock, God, priest of my altar. Here's a reading by Cole Arthur Riley called here, This Here Flesh. It's kind of a concerning name from my perspective, but like, it's fine. Uh, wonder includes the capacity to be in awe of humanity, even your own. It allows us to, it allows us to jettison the dangerous belief that things worthy of wonder can only be located on nature, hikes in scenic overlooks. This can distract us from the beauty flowing through us daily. 
From every second that our organs and bones sustain us is a miracle. When those bones, oh, sorry, when those bones heal, when our, wa- when our wounds scab over, this is our call to marvel at our own bodies, their regeneration, their stability or frailty. This grows our sense of dignity. To be able to marvel at the face of our neighbor with the same awe we have for the mountaintop, the sunlight refracting this manner of vision is what will keep us from destroying each other. Thanks. Our message today is going to be a little bit for you and a little bit for all the grown-ups in the room and a little bit for everybody in between. How does that sound? Good? All right. You're going to want to sit so you can see over here, though, because in a little bit I'm going to be sitting up here, okay? All right, so you're going to want to see me up here. Any other children want to come on up? No need. You can stay there, too. You'll still be able to hear. So good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing today? Good. Good. So uh, I wonder if any of you can tell me what wonder is. What's wonder? 
to think about something really hard, yeah. Wonder is wonder. Wonder is wonder. Wonder is wonder. Wonder is wonder. Any other ideas? So we can use this word wonder in a couple of different ways, right? So we can use it as a, a noun. Who knows what a noun is? A person, place, or thing, right? Yeah. So uh, the thing that wonder can be is a feeling, right? A feeling of like being surprised or uh, being in awe of something do, like unexpected or under, unfamiliar, right? So uh, you could be in awe. You could you could see something really impressive, and that causes you gives you a feeling of wonder, right? Do you know what I mean when I say that? Or we can use it as a verb, right? That we, like you were saying, like we think about something, we wonder about something. But we usually use the word wonder when it's something we're really curious about, right? Something that, uh, that feels really big, that we might not have the answers to, and so we just wonder about it some more before we get all of the answers. And maybe we recognize that we can't get all of the answers, right? So there's lots we can wonder about. So I'm gonna, some of the things I wonder about, I wonder about what causes the northern lights, aurora borealises, and, and how I can see them, because I am not waking up at two in the morning uh, on the off chance that I can see them in Madison, Wisconsin, <laughs> right? And I wonder about how the pyramids were built, right? So long ago, before they had like cranes, right? And I wonder about the stars. And we know that NASA has telescopes that are really strong and they can see really far out into the universe. But I sometimes wonder, like, what's after that, right? Like, if this is really far out in the universe, what's even beyond that? You, do you know? White, just complete white. Just complete white or complete black is what you think? Yeah. Well, we're not going to wonder on this too long right now. I've got other points to make. I wonder uh, who lives at the bottom of the ocean. Sharks. Sharks, maybe. I wonder, I wonder sometimes how dan how fish. Yeah, there's fish in the ocean. I wonder how sometimes dandelions evolved to have those cute little puff balls at the end of their lives before the seeds come off. I think that's pretty cool, right? Who thought that up? How did that come to be? So there's so much that we can wonder about. And for a lot of years, people have wondered about who God is and how we come to know God and what makes God, God. And so I, Dad, why don't you come sit with us? Thank you. <laughs> and uh, sit with Dad. I'll hold your hand. Look, I'll be right here, okay? So, so there's all kinds of things we can wonder about. But do you know what's really cool? Did you know that God also wonders about you? Did you know that? That God looks at you with such amazement and love and watches to see who you could grow up to be. Thank you. Watches to see who you. <laughs> oh, God wonders who who we might grow up to be, and who uh, and how we might make this world a better place. In our psalm today that Noah read for us, so this is in the Bible, we hear about people wondering about how big God is and how beautiful God is, uh, but God wondering about the love that, that we have in this world is true too. So I want to share a book with you today. Uh, can you listen to a story with me? Is that okay? So when I read you this book, I'm going to move up to one of these stools so that everybody else can hear me and see me. But you can stay sitting right here so you can have an up-close view of the pictures. How does that sound? Okay? So I'm going to move right here. Ooh, I'm not going to fall. Oh, I put the bench the wrong way. There's no, there's no bottom rung on that one. My legs aren't long enough for that. So this story uh, is called The Wonderful Things You Will Be. And it's all about 
wondering. Okay? The wonderful things you will be. When I look at you and you look at me, I wonder what wonderful things you will be. When you were too small to tell me hello, I knew you were someone I wanted to know. For all of your tininess couldn't disguise a heart so enormous and wild and wise. Is that the butterflies there? This is the first time there's ever been you. So I wonder what wonderful things you will do. Will you stand up for good by saving the day? Do you see what they're wearing? What are they dressed up as? Superheroes, yeah. Will you grow up to be a superhero? Or play a song, only you know how to play. Do any of you play instruments? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Will you tell a story that only you know? Do you see what they're doing there? Yeah, they're putting on a play. They're telling a story. Will you learn what it means to help a thing grow? Yeah, they're gardening. Do any of you have gardens at home? I do. You do? What do you I grow do. in your garden? Um, oh. Will you learn how to fly to find the best view? Or take care of things much smaller than you? Do you see what they're doing there? Can you see? Mm. I like this next one the best. Go to the next. Yeah. What, is, what, is, what are they doing? You see what they're doing? They're making clothes for a squirrel. Maybe the squirrel was cold. You never know. That is so silly, isn't it? I know you'll be kind and clever and bold. And the bigger your heart, the more it will hold. And when nights are dark and when days are gray, you'll be brave and be bright so no shadows can stay. Then you will discover all there is to see. He's going on an adventure. And become anybody. Now this is a fun part of the book, because look at this page is going to go up. Anybody that you'd like to be. What do they want to be? Do you see any... Yeah, what are they dressed up as? A tree. A tree? Mm hmm. Yeah, we see some fairy tales in there. A panda, a zebra. I, I like the robot a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll look at you, and you'll look at me, and I'll love you, whoever you've grown up to be. That was a good story. That was a good story, wasn't it? I really like that story. And I, uh, I want to be very clear. I think that God wonders about you and that God is watching you grow and learn and become who you're going to be. And God loves you no matter who you grow up to be. Okay? So we have a new friend with us in worship today. Did you all know that? We have lots of new friends, but one special, one very special, extra special new friend. Do you know who that is? Pastor Rachel. So I'm going to invite Pastor Rachel to come up for a little bit, and we're going to wonder about her. Does, doesn't that sound like a good idea? Because do you know a lot about Pastor Rachel? No. No. There's, you do? Oh. You did your research. Yeah. So, uh, Pastor Rachel, mm -hmm. I'm, I have a list of questions for you that did not update on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
It's never good, is it? It's not good. Oh. But that's okay, because, no, I did not memorize it. I know. It's all right. I have it right here. So uh, we can wonder lots of things about Pastor Rachel and about each other, and that helps us to get to know each other better and to get to know uh, uh, one another. So I wonder, Pastor Rachel, in our book, we saw lots of things that little babies might grow up to be when they get older and little kids. What did you uh, want to be when you were little? When I was littler, I wanted to be a psychologist. Do you know what that is? Yeah. You do? I do. What is it? <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Psychologists are like a therapist or a counselor. They talk to people about feelings and their mental health and help Ooh. them. Yeah. One of the best They're people awesome. on earth. They are pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, another thing I wonder is what do you think makes you wonderful now? Mm -hmm. Well, I still like talking to people about feelings and mm -hmm. mental health and talking to people about God and yeah. life. Um, so I think that makes me wonderful now, mm. even though I'm doing it in a different way than I thought when I was young. <laughs> and is there anything you wonder about? Oh, I, I'm wondering, um, since I'm new to MCC, if anything fun happens here. No, oh, we got some yeah. head nods. Is there something fun? Snack, snack after church. Okay. I knew that was going to be answer number one. <laughs> yeah. Art, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. yeah, fun music. Yes, I did see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you all still wonder about Pastor Rachel? What do you, what do you, what do you wonder? How old are you? <laughs> that says, no, this is good to cover. I'm 32. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. What do we got? Green. Green is her favorite, favorite color. color. All right. What's your favorite food? What's my favorite food? Um, oh, my gosh. That's, <laughs> that's the cap. A lot no more of, than yeah. three things. I like a lot of fruits. I might just say that. I also like brownies. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite animal. I really like giraffes mm. and I like cats. And I have a cat at home. I don't have a giraffe at home. <laughs> <laughs> you have a cat at home too? Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, cool. What do we got, Aubrey? My cat's name is Lydia. Mm -hmm. That is a good Thank you. Your cat's name is Opie? That's a good oh. cat name too. Mm -hmm. Got lots of questions uh -huh. for me. Okay. <laughs> all right. Any more questions for Pastor Rachel right now? We can. We can. We all have lots of chances to ask her questions mm -hmm. and wonder about her. I. I know you could go on and on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna let Pastor Rachel off the hot seat now, so she can go sit down. Thank okay. you, Pastor Rachel. We're so glad Thank you're you. here. <laughs> And if you have any more wondering to do about Pastor Rachel, you can ask her when you see her after church or at anything else that you might see her about around because she's a part of MCC now. And if you have any wonderings about the world or about God, I bet she'd want to talk to you about those, th those things too. Don't you think? So I'm gonna, you can stay here, but I'm going to talk a little bit to the grown-ups right now. Is that okay? All right, because they're losing uh, focus, so we've got to call, call them back. Uh, so we've been moving through this season of, um, of curiosity and with a purpose, right? We've been turning to this practice of curiosity as a direct response to a world that has become increasingly divided and hateful and sometimes hard to move through as a community. And we uh, believe, or at least I believe, and I think MCC believes that we are better when we are in community and when we are in relationship with one another. So I was really struck by uh, this quote from Cole Arthur Riley that we heard this morning. Uh, and this is from their book, This Here Flesh. And Riley writes, to be able to marvel at the face of your neighbor 
with the same awe we have for the mountaintop, the sunlight refracting. This manner of vision it is what will keep us from destroying one another. So that is uh, your homework in the week ahead. Uh, I think it can become really easy in today's world to choose not to be here in this room. So first off, good job. Uh, and to say, I can find God in a mountain, and I can find God among the trees, and I find God in those places. But the really hard work, the really impressive work, is when we go about committing ourselves and practicing, seeing that same awe and wonder and amazement in the faces of those who we meet, in the faces of God's people. It's a lot harder to pay attention to the awe in the face of another person. And it is just as worthy and uh, necessary for us as practicers of faith in this world. So uh, I invite you today and uh, throughout this week, throughout this season, to go about that work in the world. All right? Can we all pray together? What do you think? So I'm going to say a line, and then you all say it after me, okay? Let's pray. Dear God, God, thank you you for this amazing world world. and for all the wonderful pieces of creation. creation. Help us us to keep wondering wondering about your world, about about your people, and about you. you. Amen. Before we uh, go out to fellowship, we do have some community announcements that keep us living and moving amongst one another here at MCC. First, a thank you to everyone who brought food today for Way Forward Resources. We didn't have the room for the barrel up front this morning, so it remains at the entryway. Uh, We celebrate bringing uh, goods for Way Forward uh, every month on the first Sunday of the month, but you can bring it anytime. The barrel is always there, and it will always get delivered uh, to Way Forward Resources for their food pantry and those who are in need Uh, If you are interested in joining the care team or learning more about what that might look like, our care team serves our community in many ways, making sure that we are cared for in our times of need and celebrated in our times of Thanksgiving. We'll be having a meeting this Thursday from 3.30 to 5 here in Fellowship Hall, and anyone is welcome to join us and to learn more about what that team does and how you might contribute in both little and large large ways. Uh, Next Sunday, we have a couple of really great opportunities. So this last year, we, uh, MCC, became a member of MOSES, uh, which organizes uh, around criminal justice in the state of Wisconsin. And their their, uh, monthly meeting will be hosted here at MCC next week. It is an open meeting to members of Moses, and so you are welcome to join us, and I would encourage you to come and to learn and to know what is happening in this work that we are a part of. That is Sunday from 2.30 to 4.30 here in Fellowship Hall. Now, there's a little bit of an overlap in time, uh, but after, you could also head to uh, uh, Enchanted Valley Acres for a family meetup. We have an area reserved in the barn to get to meet Pastor Rachel uh, and to have a little family fun together. There's lots to do there. Please RSVP, and uh, MCC has covered the cost of tickets. You can make a a donation if you would like to help pay for that, but it is not necessary. We want families to be able to come and to meet Pastor Rachel. Uh, So that will be a lot of fun. You can check out this QR code to RSVP, or it is on the website on both the main page and the children and youth page. And finally, a quick update on our stewardship campaign. Thank you to everyone who uh, turned in pledges in the first week. We've already met 20% of our goal, which is off to a great start. Um, I'm really excited about our fancy thermometer that we introduced last week. Uh, We got to 
uh, the Derivers kids helped peel off the first uh, few pieces to show the light of our logo, and uh, we're really excited about that. So you can find all of that information on the next slide. Uh, we uh, at middletonucc.org slash stewardship dash campaign or through this QR code to get your pledges turned in. Uh, we will be celebrating those later next month. Finally, a thank you to everybody who continues to give uh, and to support us financially in the work that we do together at Middleton Community UCC. You can give offering today by going to our website, middletonucc.org, and finding the yellow give button by using this QR code, or if you brought a physical offering as you leave the sanctuary today, there are wooden boxes just on the outside of the doors as soon as you leave this room. As you go from this place, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may God look upon you with kindness and give you peace today and every day. Amen.